people already had their whole situation set up. He gave each of them 30 to 50 grand and told them to get off the land. So you Damn. 75, 85 years old, living off of Medicare, you know what I'm saying? Your social security checking them but $1,000 a month and you ain't got no rent. Now you gotta go to a whole nother spot because the white man and kicked you off of your property for where you thought you was gonna settle and spend the rest of your days at. That's right, but, but you know what? I say a big F you to those people in there because all it is is some them old crackers in those, in those places. That's right. See what happened is all that shit that you did when you was a young little cracker, you was treating niggas like that. Not you know, like uh, Apostle Ariyamlab Aryan Lab had, had put in my mind, what they did was when you was a slave, they wouldn't let you read. But now, as you get older, they call you dumb. Yeah. But in actuality, that's all your fault. Right. Couldn't read, we couldn't, you would kill us if we would try to read or yeah. get understanding. So now when a nigga runs away from a book, you want to make fun of him. But there was some same old crackers that Jerry Jones gave him 30 grand and told him to get the hell out. But, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad he did that, because as soon as it happened, then you started feeling like the slave. That's right. Huh? You started feeling like the nigga all of a sudden. Yeah, like he said. Now you, now you want to complain about society. Right. Right? Yep. But that's okay. I, I'm glad that happened to you. Right. I'm glad you're going through it. So now, now when you look at the so-called black man, you can see some of that anger. Because you feeling it now. You know what I mean? Go ahead with your scripture. Huh? Start from the top one. Okay. Araji, I'm sorry, I'm gonna call it out. Uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Araji and depart, for this is not your rest place. That's right, this is not your rest. If this was your rest, why the hell would our people look the way they do? Man. Why, why the hell would our people shit smell the way they do? Yup. Act the way they do. Yup. They're gonna have those skinny jeans with big, huge ass Jordans on, looking crazy. <laughs> Niggas wearing skinny jackets now. Now the jacket all the way up their arm, and everything is small. <laughs> Niggas have just completely lost their mind. Right? You, it's, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm walking through the mall. Just about every nigga I see, I'm like, man, it, it must be on dope. But then I start tripping. Like, nah, that's too many people to be on dope. Like, I, it's, I guess that's just how niggas are. Right. That's a new fact. Right? And it's the same. Niggas look the same way. We was in New York. We was in Connecticut. We was right back down here. And niggas look the same. Same way. Destitute, tired, hungry, thirsty. Hungry, don't know what to eat. Hungry and they eating that, that Baptist roll. Hungry and they eating that Methodist roll. But we out here on these corners, clearly breaking down these scriptures. But y'all say, man, y'all tripping, y'all going off. Go ahead, I. Okay. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Mm -hmm. You will be you will be destroyed with the sword destruction. Why? Because you didn't want to pay attention to what the men of the Lord were saying. You didn't want to listen to what the prophets on the street corners were saying. Now you got to take it. But you know what? That, that's what the Most High did. We're going to read from Deuteronomy 28. Actually started 28 and 1. Because the Lord didn't design his people to be slaves. He didn't want his people to be slaves. He set you up to be, the, like they always say, the kings and the queens. He set you up to be that. But like I said, he set you up. So if he set you up, then don't you think you should show him a little reverence? All he's saying, don't eat that bullshit. Why? Because I put certain chemicals and certain things in that animal to where if you eat that, you're going to get sick. I don't want you sick. I want you to prosper. I want people to see you and say that that's the most highest people. I don't want you to. I don't want them to see you and you can't walk because diabetes set in. You gotta get. You, I don't want. I don't want you to be looking like that. I want you to look like what you always call yourself: kings and queens, princes and princesses. I want you to look like that. So don't eat this. Don't eat that. See, people think the Lord was just. He just looked at a pig and said, "You know what? Don't eat that." For no reason. <laughs> don't eat that. Right? Just he was just like, you know what? I know y'all love it, but fuck that. Don't eat it. Um, just, to, just to add on the food situation, I was doing some, some, you know, just browsing on the internet. 
came across this little thing in India. You know the um, catfish. It, uh, okay, so the, the people in India, when someone dies, they burn the body and they send them down the, the stream. But the catfish, they eat the remains. They yeah. get big. So the, some of the catfish is as big as the sharks out there. Yeah. yeah. So you, a Jake, see that? He don't know nothing he, in the world. He go over there, he see that? That's a catfish. He eat the catfish, eat the dead body. Yeah. 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 Don't know. Yeah, you eat it. That's the reason. That's for that's that term. That's a beautiful point. The water for that. That's that term. You are what you eat. Huh. You just ate your dead uncle, fucking with the catfish. You just ate Uncle Ronnie, cause you wanted to be at the catfish fry so bad. You know what I mean? The Lord said, "Don't eat it," and it wasn't just because he just picked animals off off his head. It's a reason. And then you act like, why do y'all hate the catfish so much? We don't hate catfish. You just don't eat it. Right. If I, if I, the catfish that ate the man, I would say to that catfish, good job. Because it did what it was supposed to do. It's like a tree with an uh, apple tree with apples on it. You look at it like, keep up the good work. Right? You ain't mad at it. You ain't extra happy. It's an apple tree. It had apples. That's what's up. You know what I mean? It's, okay, well, that's cool. You look at the catfish or the pig. The pig does the same thing. It's like a scavenger of the earth. It goes around eating uh, dead animals. So it's good to have a pig on your farm. Because when animals die out there in the field, and you, you, know, you know, in places you don't see, the pig will clean all that shit up. Removing that nasty smell. You just want to say something? Uh, that, that's, the pro, that, that's the parable of the, the, the fig tree mm -hmm. uh, that your house I was talking about. You, uh, if, 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 you know where that is? If, if, uh, if, uh, uh, Something is, if something is, 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 is serving its purpose, you continue to let it flourish. That's right. But if something is, 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 is not uh, 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 con continuing in its purpose, you burn it. You make use of it. Just like the fig tree, if it's not producing figs, you cut it down and use it, make, make it useful. You turn it into firewood. That's right. Okay? That's a beautiful point. The same thing like the brother was talking about with children. It's the same thing. Your daughter wants to turn herself into a whore. When the script, I believe the scripture says in Leviticus, just burn her at the stake. And that's dealing with the priest daughter. There's things, there's scriptures where it talks about stoning. You know, a, a, a man or woman commit adultery, they gotta be put to death. Why? Because we can't let that rotten fruit flourish in the world. Why? Because then you'll have America. If you don't cut it off, then you'll have America. You got their parable. Go ahead. If not, we're gonna jump here and then uh, get a concordance or something and try to find it. I, I, I forget off the top of my head. Deuteronomy 28 and uh, one. <clears throat> Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse one. And this is this is milk. This is those scriptures that when we was all first coming in, it was Deuteronomy 28 and 68. That was that one. Most brothers I know, that was that one when it was like.